Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded video today talking about the new creatures that have been added to the game in the August update and also what happened to bees and the rest of the water update content. I have already done a video t covering all the brand new mutations and perks. Go and check that out if you want to know what they all do and how you can get them all. But yeah, let's take a look at the crow. Now we saw it drop in the trailer and I've got some words about that trailer as well. And you can see here, it's pretty much non-interactable as far as I know. Unless there's something you've got to drop for it specifically, then maybe it will drop some more feathers. I'm doing some more testing right now. But the crow will be found at various different locations. You'll find it on the bird bath. You'll find it on top of one of the lasers and you'll also find it on top of the picnic table it does seem to drop a feather every now and then but it's not reliable at the moment so many of you guys will comment in saying you found it very hard also the feathers it does drop don't automatically fall just below it in fact you may find the feathers some distance away so you kind of have to get used to their flight path at the moment, it's nothing more than a visual prop just so we can get some feathers. I don't think we're ever going to be actually taking this creature on. We're not going to be fighting it. It's way too large, way too big. It would just be a bit stupid unless they can come up with some ingenious way maybe to fight it with another creature if we could tame another flying character, maybe something like a robin or a smaller sparrow. But anyway, that's just hearsay. Right now, you can fire as many arrows at it as you want bombs, whatever, nothing affects it. I've chucked weapons at it, I've chucked spears, nothing activates it to drop any more feathers and it doesn't pay you any attention. If you get too close to it, it will flap its wings and knock you off and it's kind of got a bit of a derpy blocking uh, motion around it. So the, the hitbox around it is quite big. So even if you're not even right next to it, it can sometimes knock you off. Now from what you guys are saying and from my initial findings, it does seem to be around much more in the evening time from around 4pm. However, I have found it in the morning at the laser around 9.30. So I don't know if this was intended or whether or not it is just a bit more random. I would assume a crow is about in the morning and the evening both times. So yeah, I'm going to do that a bit more testing properly. I'm going to find exactly the flight paths for you guys so that you know exactly where to go and find the feathers. I have already tried speeding up the gameplay and speeding up the time to see if I could trigger the crow so I could reliably tell you guys, but I don't think the crow works on game time, if that makes sense. I think the crow has got its own individual timer, so it doesn't matter if you increase the game time because he just was starting to appear random times. I'd go days through speed and he wouldn't actually turn up. So he's definitely got his own time. This is another location that he spawns at on top of the fence post as well though. So again, somewhere else to check it out. I'm guessing the idea is that you will come across feathers all around the map. They're gonna drop and they drop generally when he starts flying off, not necessarily always when he's just standing still or sitting still. So basically keep trying to find the paths that he goes. When you see one, pay attention to what way he's gone and just have a look around on the floor all of that way that he's gone in that direction to see if you can find some feathers. Again, just to show you guys, nothing happens when you hit it. You can get right up close if you can try and it kind of pushes you back quite a bit, as I said. So yeah, at the moment, I think the crow is there. It's functional, but it probably needs a lot of improvements in terms of flight pathing and exactly how and often it drops feathers i'm hoping we can do something to aggravate it so it will drop more feathers if we shoot at it with a certain projectile i think that would be the best thing and just again once demonstrate i put the speed up really quickly but again like i said he wasn't appearing every single time it went from day or to night so he must be on his own timer so when he does drop a feather, well, what are you actually doing with it? Well, you've got to go and attack it with a tier two item. Now you can use the um, spider fang for this one, or you obviously you just can get yourself a ant axe. So you can craft the marksman's cap. You're going to need three feathers. You're going to need five berry leather, and you're going to need five spider web or silk. They've changed it to spider web for some reason. Then you've got the feather arrow. So one crow feather, four spider webs. Now it only gives you one actual arrow at the moment which is kind of yeah kind of bad um and for the amount of feathers it takes anyway that's the why i did i crafted when i got one was just one arrow so maybe it's for a very specific reason and then you've got a simple bed you need weed stems acorn shell two feather pieces and six woven fiber the bed does exactly the same things as a lean-to, there's nothing else special about it. I was kind of hoping that maybe they'd make the lean-to not somewhere where you could sleep, but just somewhere you could save. That would kind of make sense to me. I know that might seem a bit harsh, but I think grounded needs to be a lot harder. 
Uh, so that's kind of what I hoped happened, but nope, you can go ahead and use the ling to exactly the same way as you use a bed. Again, I'm hoping that the bed will maybe give you a well rested buff or something like that, but when I slept in it in another video, I couldn't find any buffs. Again, with the Marksman's Cap, it's going to give you around 25% extra attack damage with every arrow shot that you fire. That's what I got from the files, the damage outputs. A big shout out to Helios in the modern community for posting that information pretty quickly. It's obviously got pretty good defense as well. It's like nearly two defense, so it's a decent piece of kit. Obviously a tier three item though. It also seems to have the same durability as a ladybug helmet. So quite a while you'll be using this without it being degraded or if you're attacked by lots of creatures, it's not gonna suddenly get damaged as much. In terms of the actual arrows themselves, they maybe did a tiny bit more damage, but I couldn't really notice it. I think actually it was because I was wearing the hat. So I'm not really sure why we've got the crow arrow i will look into it a bit more i'm going to do some more testing and that'll probably come in another video where i go through all the flight patterns of the crow once i've worked it all out so next up we've got the brand new water flea it is one of the most scary looking creatures in the game and that's saying something compared to like the larvae and obviously the big wolf spiders these guys are creepy as heck they're going to be in the water in the flooded section towards I think it's the southeast or near the bird bath and you'll pretty much find them just floating around you'll find loads of them there's usually like three four five sometimes although I only found this one in this little section you can see them just bobbing around there looks a bit like a, a albino slimer that's what I'm calling him albino slimer you can't obviously attack because we haven't got any weapons that work under water yet obviously once the water update does come we'll be able to get these a lot quicker but originally it is meant to give you some flea meat once you do kill it it will give you flea meat and this flea meat is what you use to make one of the brand new potions well it's not actually brand new but you've not actually been able to make it before not legit anyway because it needed a underwater ingredient now during the demo phases it needed the eel grass, but they changed it to water flea meat. So I'm talking about liquid gills. It's a smoothie that you can make. I don't know why I keep calling them potions, but I do. And so that smoothie will now be live in the game. You just need to add some uh, grass. And I do believe it is uh, clover as well. And you'll be able to make the potion. Repeat after me, Jade. It's not a potion. I'm sure there's going to be some good methods to get it, maybe building slightly in the water if you can do that, or just trying to grab one from the edges from the top with a spear. You guys let me know how you've got your water flea meat. If you eat it, it will replenish your liquid, and I don't think it replenishes your food though, just actually your liquid. Right, let's talk about the fact that there are no bees or water content in the game. The devs put up a thank you trailer. Now it's very small, but that is a bee. We looked at it very closely and we decided on live stream that was a bee. Also in this snippet of the trailer, you can see in the background on the water, just behind the rose bushes, you've got the pagoda, which is part of the water update. So what happened to the bee and the water update? Well, I hate to say it, but I've been telling you guys for weeks and weeks now, every video I've done showcasing some of that content, the future content, that it may not actually drop this update. And I know I've been showcasing a lot of this stuff, although I've only actually done five videos out of 54 in Grounded in the last month. So it's not exactly one every single day talking about new content that hasn't arrived. Bottom line is the devs obviously hadn't finished working on the water update and I'm a bit surprised we didn't at least get the B set since the armor's there, we've seen the models, but I guess they're waiting a bit longer to add that. So who knows? I'm not going to speculate about what's coming next until we get a bit more concrete information. I know some people disappointed with the lack of content in this update, but if you measure it, if you look at all the quality of life stuff they've improved, the UI, all the changes to the systems, the nerfs, the fixes, the game definitely needed it it's way too easy you could get through all of the content and grounded like story content and get yourself up to tier two level gear within about two hours of playing so i'm glad they've nerfed the mint mallet i'm glad they've nerfed a lot of the other stuff they have improved some of the armors as well and i'm glad they are making steps to add more variety with the missions from burgle we got that that's a brand new aspect of the update and also we've got the brand new mutations and perks and that is going to be a load of fun loads of stuff to do to get them naturally without doing cheats like I did. So, yes, the update maybe was a bit overhyped, but as I said, I pretty much said on every single video I did, 
that we might not get this war update. It may just be something they're working on. And I did say it looked a bit unfinished. I am quite surprised the devs maybe didn't clarify a bit earlier. And considering, as I was going to point out, is that their trailers have shown a bunch of stuff that's not in the game yet as well. So I feel like we're all to blame a little bit. If you want to look at it negatively and like the devs have shown off stuff like the wasps on the cover art and as I said they've got bees in some of the trailers before. On a more positive side well it just means we've got even more content to come and I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do and change and seeing the upgraded models. We knew that the strider wasn't finished and there was lots of bits and bobs like the coil that looked like it wasn't finished so that's all going to be coming. The good news is they've removed that AR world now so I can't go in and test some of this stuff so don't worry no more extra hype well just a little bit. I like seeing this stuff I like seeing what's coming you don't like it, that's up to you. Don't click on the video. But if you're clicking on the video, I'm guessing you do kind of want to know what's coming in the future. Anyway, I'll be there every step of the way. Go and check out my mutations video. I think this update's been good. I think it's been solid. And I'll see you rat bags for another one soon.